Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm going to show you what I always do once my robotics students get their Lego Mindstorms EV3 kit. It's a really cool project called the Golf Ball Tower Challenge. It's a really neat starting off the year activity. It helps them get you know together with their partner and work together to build a golf ball tower. And if you want to see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. So this year has been a challenge because last year we were all online. So I didn't have anybody from the year before take apart their robots and get their kits ready for my new kids this year. So my new kids this year had to actually put together their own kit, like put all the pieces in it that they're supposed to have. And I actually thought to myself, that's a pretty good thing because in the years past, I would just hand kids this perfectly made kit from the year before the students inventoried their kit and so i would just hand the, the new students a brand new kit basically with all the pieces where they're supposed to go this year my students had to do that themselves and i think that's good because now they appreciate how long it takes to put all the pieces into their kits that they're supposed to have we started it on monday and it's Thursday and I have students that still haven't finished putting together their kits yet. So we're going to do that golf ball challenge tomorrow. And so what I'm going to do in this video is show you all of the different towers that students made and give you the rules that I give my students when they do this tower and definitely show you who won. So here are the ground rules for the golf ball tower challenge. Um, one kit. For the two students and they have 20 minutes to build the tallest structure that they can make in those 20 minutes here are the rules of the things they cannot use they can't use their brick can't use any of their sensors and i don't want them using any of their motors and the reason is when they build their towers some of their towers fall over and i don't want those items damaged because they're too expensive you guys know that so anything else they can use to build their tower. The tower must be freestanding. It can't be leaning up against anything. And I, I usually give the students the golf ball and they are the ones to put the golf ball on their tower. So that way they can't say that I'm the one that messed up their tower. Once the student lets go of the ball, like they put it inside something, we just count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, if their tower is still standing, they were successful. And then, you know, I go around the room and I'll take the yardstick and just measure everybody's tower. The tallest team's tower that still holds this ball is considered the champ. So it's just a really neat way for the students because it's so early in the year to get to, you know, to work together with their partner, bounce ideas off of each other and ultimately work together to get this tower built. So it's a really neat project. Definitely consider this and you can feel free to alter any of my rules to make, you know, have it fit your class. But let's go ahead now and go to the videos and picture that I took of my students' towers and definitely the winners.
guys. So it was just an amazing day. Amazing day of putting those towers together. It was neat to be able to watch my students work together to get those tower built. And it was neat to see the different ways that they built it. What did they use for their foundation? What did they use to you know, put this golf ball in? So I just love walking around and looking at the different towers because they're all usually this, you know, different. And it just shows me the creativeness and how everybody just thinks differently when they're given a task like that. So definitely hit me up in the comment sections if you try this and you, know, you can let me know if there's some things that I should change things that are good ideas about this, uh, maybe something different you did. I'd love to hear back from you guys. Okay, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.